All right, well, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but some people might wonder what a thunker is. This is what I would describe as a thunker. Now, I'm in auto sense sensitivity. Here, how it's thunk is like a chunk breaking off the signal. It chunks, but it, it thunks, but it has a little high tone in there. Like it's chopped off. So I'm gonna uh, turn the camera off, pinpoint this out. And uh, start the camera back up in a second and mark that spot. Let's right, see what we got. Could be nothing. So far, I've dug about three nails so far. I'm in a spot, a park that. Uh, I haven't found too many silvers that I think I have managed to find three or four silvers, a couple silver rings, and I'm in the general location, almost the same location. A friend of mine found a seeded dime here in the very same area, and another friend found a handful of mercs right here, about three or four in this general area. And I've never found any silver in this area a few wheat pennies and I did find a silver quarter over by the uh, sidewalk it's hunting with dawn that day but uh, let's see what we got if we have anything okay so the good news is that the target's in the middle of the hole that's always a plus, right? I've always said that in the past, that if you dig down and you off-center a little bit, not always your, your chances of a good target diminish from an iffy one. Right there. So I'm down about eight inches to the target right now. So seven inches to the uh, blade, underside of the blade. Oh, and it's silver. That is so sweet. So not only did I capture what a thunker was, and how I used to always wonder how Dave, what was, he, how would he hear those in auto sensitivity? And that's it. You hear that little thunk, and sometimes you hear a little tweet of a high tone, and um, that's what it is. I saw that rim right there when I flipped it over. I have no idea what that's going to be. It's got nice ridges on the edges. Um, and you know, see, that was, okay, so that was down eight inches, okay? And the reason why it might have been giving me that thunk is because it was probably right on the edge, just like that. And uh, sometimes when they're on edge like that, one direction you get, sometimes you can get a good tone out of it. The other set direction, it doesn't work all that great. Oh, it's a Merc. Wow. Pretty good shape. 1944. Sorry, you're getting a blurry end of the deal there. Focus. Come on, focus. You just love it when things don't focus. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, for my friends who might watch this video, I'm uh, in Portland. This is the big tree that uh, a friend found is seated like right here. 
and uh, most of the, I found a few silvers over on the other side of the park, which is kind of where I was heading on that way, and got the stunker. All right, I think that's silver, baby. Yeah. All right, well, I haven't been hunting in like, well, I can't say I haven't been hunting, but I've hunted like two times in three months. Um, and back at a place where uh, I wanted to hit a field on the other side of the school that I hadn't been able to hit before because uh, there's always games going on and stuff. So I hit that a little bit today. I didn't find nothing really of importance over there. Came back to up here where, where Dave and I picked up some silver in here. And I've already picked up like three wheats in this little area. I had this one hitting in one direction, which gave me a penny wheat tone. And then I turned and I got an 1145 silver tone. So I went down there, I saw the, that, and pulled that out, stuck the probe in there, and sure enough, there was more noise. And it looks like a rosy. That is sweet. So, it's not bad, man. I think the last time I went hunting, oh, oh, there's more. Be silver. The last time I went hunting, um, I picked up a buffalo nickel. So, that's not bad, you know? I don't hunt for a long time and uh, I haven't lost my touch. And uh, this is an area that, like I said, Dave and I have covered. That bastard picked up more silver here than I did. Got two quarters out of this front of this field. And, um, we were going to come hunting last weekend, and we had snow and freezing rain. So, uh, didn't hunt that weekend. I invited him to come today, and, uh, oh, oh look at that, guys. Look at that. Ho, ho, ho. That's two. It's funny thing is, the last time we were here, Picked up two mercs in one hole. All right, two silvers and a wheat. I'll take it. Man, I haven't been hunting in a long time. I got about another month or so of my uh, kitchen remodel to do, so I'll be hanging in the house and stuff, not hunting too much, and then um, uh, then I'll be out hunting again back in February. A few house projects, but you know the weather's nice today. We got blue skies, like 45, 47. It's great. I'm taking advantage of it. Taking a break. Sweet. All right. Silver number three. I'm in the same general energy. I picked up a rosy, and I was really shocked because the rosy was uh, like eight, nine inches down. There might be another one in here. But uh, I was pretty shocked by it because uh, that was really far down. 1943, the other Merc I got was 45. And that was down uh, about 7 inches. Alright, number 3 for the day, I'm just about done. heard something else in the hole and it's almost like a rock but it could be a nice little Easter egg at the same depth I mean it was right there with it oh man it is a rock so that's why these, these that's why my tones are coming out funky because there's some uh, mineralized uh, rocks and hot rocks here. Uh, I'll have to keep that and clean that up. I don't know what that is, but uh, anyways, but it's a rock. Thought it might be a dirt pod. You got, really got to listen for these guys. This was coming up a 145-148, but it was very iffy. All right. Well, this is pretty cool. I'm back out at my giving field. Um, you know, I walked across 
And then I walk back, but it's been about an hour and 20 minutes. And I'm almost at my car over here by the parking lot and just walking through. And then I had the squeaker of a high tone, real small. Now I'm hunting an auto because for some reason I'm uh, really, it's real sensitive today. I don't know what the deal is. Normally I have no problems out here, but uh, whatever it might be, I'm hunting an auto and I hit this high tone and I got it in between garbage and it was a 547 in this direction here and then that was a sweet number looked at it again it moved to a 148 I turned it went to a 1042 dropped you know but the high tone was still in there it sounded good but it was 1042 I turned back this way and it went to a 1542 so it was consistent 42 and I kind of went around it and I couldn't get anything higher than the 42 at that point but the tone sounded good it was real small amongst garbage so I dug down dug down and I and this thing this thing was actually in the look how deep it's only like about five four inches but it was a very small squeaker of a tone it was really strange really strange so i picked it up it you know it doesn't look like silver um here i'm gonna i'm gonna can i don't know if i can turn my light on hold on i'm gonna pause this and see if i can turn the light on so anyways i saw this um roosevelt it's not going to focus now. Focus. And, oh, come on, focus. And then I noticed it was really thick. I didn't notice it was a Roosevelt, but I noticed it was really thick. And as two coins stuck together, and when I flipped it over, and I saw that this was a Merc, then I pretty much knew that that was silver also but they don't look like silver. They're like really tarnished or something. So that is so sweet, that is two in one. They're like glued together. Gosh, I just can't get a good focus on it. Oh well, my pictures will get it. So I'm gonna have to stand up and see if there's anything else in this hole. I didn't. I went down further. I didn't find anything. And but this was really shallow, two dimes, really shallow, and it really, really, really did not give a great signal. It just was a real small tone in there. Sweet. The giving field keeps on giving. I got a handful of nails today. Digging niffies. Well, just a second ago, I was like saying, are you kidding me? Two silvers, and it looks like a penny. Um, this is where it was. The last time I had been in this park, I picked up, I, surprisingly, I picked up, I think, uh, two silvers. I, it might have been two silvers in one hole. Like, weird, right, right here on the slope, and um, a couple wheat pennies. And so I decided to come back and hit, of course, this little area um, again. Now the numbers, the numbers here, did not tell me anything remotely close to being silver. I saw the lowest Ferris number was like 21, 21. It bounced between a Ferris 21 and a 23. Didn't go any higher, didn't go any lower, and then on the conductive side, it never really, never really bounced up too high. 42. I mean, that's about what it was, you know, somewhere in there. But you know, I went around it. The tone sounded like a wheat penny you know, dime, clad dime, not even a high tone silver. But, um, so I had to dig it thinking I was going to get a wheat penny. And then I saw the silver and not only one, but two. And it looks like a pen, a wheat penny. And see, surprising two silver dimes. Oh, it's a nickel. That's why. Weird how the nickel and the uh, the two dimes brought the Ferris number so uh, so much lower. 1958 on the nickel. 
one of the dimes is 1958 and the other dime is 1958 three 1958s Wow so there you go you know that's why you can't uh, weird though uh, I'm just gonna throw these down on the ground run my coil over it and see what I get a hair time well, that sounds 1141 1142. I'm gonna put the nickel right over the top of both of them. 938. 940. I don't know. Maybe they were just on edge or something, which I know can give a really strange number with E-Track. Oh, well, that's 942. 1043. I don't know what happened, but it's possible there could be even something else in here. So I'll put the plug over, check it, but sweet. That that makes my day right there. Right there, hello. All right, my battery's gonna die because I'm in. I'm in a search. Oh, right there, Merc. Search for a new phone, but this is my first silver in this park. I'm just gonna let this record for a second. Anyway, the. Uh, school over here. I've pulled 12 silvers out of there. I've never pulled any silver out of this park next to it. First one. Sweet. Alright, got a silver. Looked like it might have been on edge. Only a few inches deep. It was over here. I was digging here. This way sounded like a, um, like a 1243. This way was a 648. So it must have been on edge, giving me that funky numbers like that. But I'll take it. I haven't seen so in a while. I'm sure glad I came here today. I was almost ready to go home and decided not to. Looks like maybe a 40 something, 47. Sweet. Moving on. Hopefully, I get another one. Well, I'm in an area that uh, this golf course dates back to 1915. So I'm just hunting a little bit of the sidewalk strip, and uh, I've hunted this before. I've never found any silvers here, but I found two V-nickels, a handful of uh, wheats. Uh, Dave picked up a uh, couple silvers, and uh, so I got my first silver, but it's not silver coin. It's a silver forget-me-not. It's coming in around 39.41 at about 5.6 inches, and uh, ironically, my luck has been horrible. All oh, right, I got three pieces. I was wondering how many pieces I got in there. Um, so far I got two, three quarters and long in here. Ooh, I might have another piece in here. It'd be sweet if I got four. But um, three quarters, 1965. <laughs> Anyways, this is, I've had these before. Oh, uh, silver forget-me-nots. Uh, they usually typically have a name on them somewhere um, in the back. I'll clean those up and get a picture for you. Let's see if I got one more in there. Let's see my picture. My camera is not wanting to stop recording. Well, I just, uh, I had a target here, and I was like digging down, digging down, nothing, 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 over here, nothing, 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 put everything back together, it sounded so perfect, so I dug down again, nothing, 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 and it's like, jeez, where is it? Well, that's what happens when you get a coin that's on edge, sometimes it's never exactly where you think it is, anyways, I dug here thinking it was here, I thought it was over here a second time, third time charm, it's over here, and I think it's silver, it's still in the ball here. See the rim right there? Maybe. But it's about time because uh, I've picked up today so far um, probably about five wheat, six wheats. And I've been waiting to find the silver. This is my, it'll be my eighth silver from this school. Eighth silver. That's beautiful. So all I wanted today was to find the one silver. I mean, I just haven't been out and haven't been hunting too much. And 
but uh, it's nice to find something. This is what I hunt right here. Yeah, if I get the phone to stop, I'll be in business. Well, if you're in an older field, 1958 school, and you come across a deeper 1138, 1238, dig those because they shouldn't be there. And I've had experience with uh, silver rings coming in about that range. And I was digging this, knowing the depth of it. And I was like, yep, it's going to be a ring for sure. Ain't going to be no clad uh, um, zincan. So anyways, I got myself a ring. Nice little silver ring there. And that is sweet. I'm going to keep moving on. My battery is probably about ready to die. It's been a long time since I found silver, it seems like. Forgot what it sounded like. Thought I was getting a um, clad quarter, 1246, pretty solid, but only, you know, four inches down, three, four inches down. Uh, big surprise, silver. Uh, I'm in a park where I've picked up five silvers. This makes six. I think Dave picked up three here. So uh, this is sweet. 1957 or 1952. 57 looks like. All right, I'm gonna keep uh, working it. Hopefully, I find a couple more today before I get a get out of here. All right, I'm hunting in one of uh, Portland's older parks. This is one that I've hunted quite a bit. And here's, of course, my reference to the big ugly blue school back there. So I've hunted this area quite a bit, and I pulled a murk out like right here, which is why I hunted this area really good too, because. Not only did I pull a merc there, I pulled a merc out right there, and a barber, and various wheats in the area. And I've hunted this area quite a bit. And here was a plain as day. Um, I don't know, 1647, uh, something 47, coming in, just nice and solid. So, I don't even know if I have a quarter, but I think it's... I don't know what it is. It looks like a dime, but it was definitely coming in the 47 the high range. And just from looking at it, it, looks like a barber. I don't know. Can't tell yet. But it was coming in definitely really high. I mean, it wasn't just your. It was in the high, high range. Like half dollar, quarter, half dollar, or you know, it's a Merc. Oh, that is sweet because, man, like I said, I've been over this like, whole area so many times. It's at 1920 something, 1923, 1927. I'll take it. And of course, I haven't checked the hole to see if there's more, but it doesn't sound like it. Sweet. Well, I'm getting 1048 really consistent in this direction. I turn this way, I get 143, 140, and then I turn around a little bit, I get 941, 42s, but um, really consistent 1048, uh, 140, 143s this way. That's what we got. Showing uh, five inches, six or so. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's weird. That is definitely looks like gold. Oh, look right there. Oh my gosh, do you see it? A piece of it came off. Can you see right here? If mine, I've had one of these before, 1936. 
silver and 10 karat gold class ring is what this uh, ended up well what I I had before when I had one just like this and my guess is this is another class ring uh, gold and silver I'm looking for the dates on the side no dates so maybe not a class ring last one had like 1936 written on the side all right that's a sweet find this is my first at uh, this particular school this is Dave's school I call it Dave's school because he probably lives uh, like three blocks from here and he pulled a silver ring a nice silver ring out of here just about two weeks ago and I've never found any silver at this school um, except I found like four old tokens which is weird so I've got some markings on the inside but I'm very positive that's gonna say gold and silver then what used to be right there is what's right there of course I don't have my glasses on so kind of read it something cool very cool very very cool that makes my whole day because I only came I was gonna come here for a couple hours in the evening so very cool very cool